Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everyone listening out there, whichever may be appropriate. Today on ESC Daily, we have the pleasure of speaking to Danish singer Christopher Brandt, who is taking part in the final of Dansk Melody Grand Prix this Saturday. Welcome, Christopher, and thanks for Thank taking part in this interview. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so, um, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started singing? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, I've been singing uh, since I could walk, actually, uh, more or less. And I've always been a, a, a very big fan of um, of uh, yeah, Eurovision Song Contest, ah. and uh, I have been uh, a big fan of all the the good old fashioned crooners like Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra and uh, yeah, the Danish crooners. You don't know them, but um, they are they are big. Uh, how do you say that? Uh, they are big legends. heroes in my yeah legends. They're big heroes in my in my world. So uh, I love them very much. So old um, school. Yeah, old school, very old school. <laughs> I, I would like to keep it in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's classier in black and white. <laughs> yeah, I love black and white, like, you know, uh, you know the smoking suit and uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I I really like that. <laughs> like the, the James Bond style and, you know, a, a day bed and a, a smoke, uh, a cigarette and just lay down and fly and, and sing Fly Me to the Moon. I love that. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Very cool. Um, and before you were a professional singer, I guess, um, you were a hockey player. Yes, exactly. I played hockey for 11 years in my uh, my hometown called yep. Romsdal. Uh, I was a uh, left wing, yep. number 19, Christopher Brandt. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, I was very fond of that. Uh, uh, but uh, then uh, I uh, we we won an, uh, a Swedish uh, tournament. Um, and then uh, I, when we should uh, have um, have our medals, probably yep. one, I just grabbed the microphone and, and start singing uh, the national anthem. And uh, since then, uh, I I dropped the, the ice hockey and, and start singing. Awesome. Uh, I, now, uh, please excuse my ignorance, but I'm going to assume that that is ice hockey, not field hockey? That's ice hockey on ice. It's very cold on the Excellent. ice. So uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's with a club and a puck, so uh, yeah. In Australia, we all play field hockey, not ice. Yeah, hockey. I know that. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not much fun. In my, <laughs> I never tried it. I can't tell. But uh, I love the ice hockey. It's a it's a brutal game, but you know you know brutal games as well. I yeah. uh, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, our, our football's a pretty rough game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very um, rough. So, how did you um after you sang the national anthem? How did you go about singing professionally? What was the transition? I, uh, I went to I went to a school after I went to a school for one year in in Copenhagen where the only thing on the on the menu was uh, was music and uh, <laughs> every weekend we had to uh, go out a new place uh, with a new kind of um, a new kind of uh, how to say that uh, a new kind of music every time one weekend it could be jazz another one it could be rock and, uh, oh, and so new on. genre. Yeah, new genre exactly, um, and then I did that for a year, and and then I I find my own uh, I found my own uh, my own style, and cool. uh, so it it's a, it's a mix of uh, it is pop music that I'm that I'm uh, performing with, but the the visual uh, thing is is from the good old days. So I'd like I'd like to mix 1960 compared to 2011, um, but still keep the, the music modern uh, and just so, uh, keep uh, it a a, a retro time. fusion. Yeah, exactly. That sounds very nice. <laughs> it sounds nicer when you say it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so that's the idea of it. Cool. Um, well, yeah. your your song in Dance Comedy Grand Prix is uh, yeah. called Emma, and as we heard yesterday when the snippets were released, it's in Danish. Um, exactly. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about the song and what's it about? Yeah, the song is about that. Uh, imagine you're out with your girlfriend. You have a girlfriend, and uh, the one thing in the world you don't have to, you you, you cannot do is to hurt her. But um, you are you are loose cannon, and uh, then you you, <laughs> you accidentally uh, uh, hurt her by uh, yeah kissing another girl exactly, and oh. and then you wake up and uh, you have oh what did I do? Not again. <laughs> uh, and then you have to <laughs> and then you have to say sorry. Uh, to her, so that's uh, that's what the song is about. So uh, I, I I would I I will uh, try to keep it from uh, um, how do you say that 
Frankie Boy and Dean Martin, they were all loose cannons, and uh, <laughs> they they had uh, they had someone they they hold uh, very close to themselves. But I'm I'm sure of that. Uh, they they hurt them sometimes, not on purpose, but sometimes that kind of things happen. Yeah. Uh, and then and you always know when you've been an idiot. So um, <laughs> that's that's my more or less what the song is about. Um, but there's always only one Emma in in my world. But um, you know, awesome. things happen. <laughs> <laughs> so you co-wrote the song along with Sister Serbu, who yeah, um she, some... she wrote the melody, and uh, then uh, we sat down and. And try to to find the lyrics, and because it's a dance melody, Grand Prix, like you say, yep. uh, we w- we would like to keep it in Danish uh, for the first round. I, I hope I, I I can sing it two or three times, uh, <laughs> not only one. Uh, <laughs> uh, so of course it has to be translated into English. But uh, in the first round, it's Danish melody Grand Prix, so we would like to keep it in our national language. So um, was the song created specifically for Dansk Melody Grand Prix? We have always uh, been talking about last year. We d- we uh, we were a little too late to uh, to send something in, and we have always been a very big fan of uh, of, of Grand Prix, and uh, we we always talked about oh let's make something, and we always been a little too late. But this year we said we gotta make something for for this year. And then we sat down, and uh, yeah, she called me. I was uh, in a in a local bar. Uh, on yep. a Saturday with uh, some friends smoking cigarette indoor and drinking a couple of beers, I think. <laughs> and then uh, she called me and said, I have this very great tune I'm, uh, I'm playing with. Would you come over? And then I came over and then we we spent a lot of time uh, trying to, to find some lyrics that were appropriate for this uh, melody. And then we had a, a very big uh, laugh that uh, it was so like me, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this lyric, <laughs> and said, this has to be it. We don't want to make any changes of it now. And then we sent it in, and then it was, uh, it was uh, Happy Days. Fantastic. And they and said, uh, <laughs> you in. Well, mm-hmm. um, my next question you've already sort of answered, but I'll ask you anyway. Yeah. Um, in the entirety of Eurovision history, if there has been an option not to sing in Danish, Denmark has done that and sung in English. So, uh, I was going to ask, if you win, would you be the first singer to sing in Danish under the free language rule, or no, will you sing in I English? Will, I, will, I will sing in English because, uh, of course, this is the, the Danish uh, country, yep. but always there is always a message in every kind of song, so uh, I would like to spread my message if I win. So, of course, it has to be in English if I, it has to go uh, more or less worldwide. So uh-huh. uh, otherwise, uh, people will not have a single chance if they, uh, if they are sitting with their dictionary and trying <laughs> to keep up. So uh, I will, I will, I will write it in English. Has an English version already been created, or have you got an idea? No, of what not, it'll not be? yet. We we have a pretty good idea because you can always sing Emma and Dilemma. It's it's still the same. So uh, <laughs> the hook the hook is uh, is more or less uh, written. <laughs> so we <laughs> just have to uh, to find out. Uh, the verses, how we're going to do them. Awesome. Um, yeah. Do you have any favorite Danish Eurovision songs? Yes, I have a lot of Danish uh, favorite Eurovision songs, but it's 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 uh, they're before I was born. Um, <laughs> well, they're the best ones. Yeah, so they are not in, they're not in English, I think. So uh, we had an artist called uh, Dario Campa Otto, who is uh, more or less the same. Uh, he's a uh, Parallel to what can you say, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. He's a Danish crooner, yep. uh, an opera singer, and has been uh, in many Danish old-fashioned movies. But and he's still going strong here in Denmark. Uh, he's, an, he's an old-timer. Cool. Um, and then we had uh, a guy called Otto Brandenburg. Try yep. to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he sang. Uh, he's also he also was a very big uh, famous guy. He's dead now. I think he. He liked he liked the beer a little too. Uh, <laughs> he was he, he was a big jammer, uh like me. So uh, they are they are my they are, they are this, uh, the artists that I really love when when we're talking Danish Grand Prix. Fantastic. So it has to um, be them, yeah. <laughs> well, when you're not singing or playing hockey, what do you do with yeah. your time? Oh, uh, I have a I have a daytime job as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm in uh, in printing. Um, uh. Yeah, so that's also an old-fashioned uh, <laughs> job. <laughs> so everything about me is more or less old-fashioned. Just totally um, old school. Yeah, totally old school. So uh, <laughs> then I then I go to uh, 
what we call in Denmark traditional bars. You can you can compare them to English pubs, yep. uh, and the, not because I'm a drinker. Don't uh, get me wrong, but uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> I, I will but remind you, you're talking to an Australian. It, it's pretty much our national pastime. Yeah, I, I, lo- I love the Fernet Branca and I love the, the Danish beer. And then uh, we just uh, we just give it a big time of uh, old-fashioned singing. Uh, more, only me, actually. So it's for all the others <laughs> to to, <laughs> to to know. So I'm 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 usually standing on the table and and singing for the whole crowd. That's uh, <laughs> that's something I love to do. Um, so yeah. That's, that's my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, final question now. Do you have a message for the readers of ESC Daily? It's, yes. Uh, drink more Danish beer. Uh, <laughs> love, love what you do. Uh, be yourself 100% and then it uh, will be okay and all right and fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone um, can fault that. <laughs> yeah, something like that, I think. Just be yourself. <laughs> Yeah, all the way through. Superb. That's uh, that's the best I can feel. <laughs> well, in that case, on behalf of ESC Daily, our readers and yep. listeners, I'd like to thank you for participating in this interview and wish you all the best in the quest for the ticket to Dusseldorf. Thank you very, very much, Liam. <laughs>